Hello there. Welcome to another segment of the Dance and Learn show. Remember, this is brought to you by the Society for the Performing Arts in Nigeria. Hey, what are you doing today? What are you doing tomorrow? What are you doing when you wake up in the morning? Or what do you do when you don't have work? Your leisure time, how do you spend it? I like to spend mine dancing, although my work is dance. <laughs> what about yours? Anyways, today we have a special dance style for you. I like to call the dance style we're doing today the mother of all dances. <laughs> yeah, it's the foundation of all dance, and if you know what I'm talking about, you will know immediately I'm talking about ballet. Everyone loves ballet, especially kids. You know, they all like to get dressed up in tutus and shoes and butterfly wings, and everyone is like, oh, I'm going to my ballet class. They're so excited. But what about you as an adult? Do you think it's important? Oh, yes, it is. It's important for everyone, especially you as a dancer. So today, I'm going to bring up someone special. Like I said, before I call her name, I would like her to walk in and we'll get to see who she is. Because there's a twist to today's show, meaning she's going to run us through the warm-up and the basic exercises. Ah much said so i'd like to bring her in i'm talking about no other person than my boss mrs sarah bullos come join us please hello mrs b how are you i'm very fine yeah. it's good to have you on the show thank you very much so i'm going to hand over to her and she'll take us through the warm-up exercises don't go anywhere Good morning, everyone. Um, please, could you put the song so we can start? Very good. I would like you to have your feet into a neutral position called the sixth position, and your hands down, laying down in a very, very soft, and your shoulders are totally relaxed. They're down. You're looking at me. Very good. Excellent. And then you're going to open into preparation. And preparation, you open to first position, and go down very slowly. Excellent. Something very important to remember. Your shoulders are not up, they are down, of course. And then here, you can see in ballet, everything is totally tucked in. So I want you to put your pelvic area totally tucked in. So this is the movement you have to do. And just a slight tucking of the pelvic. Imagine that you have a coin behind your butt. Put it inside and just tighten your butt softly. Actually, what you can do then is be able to breathe, okay? I'm going to start with a dummy plié. Let's go take a deep breath. Good job. And préparation, hands on your waist. And we go plié, and up. Plié, and up. Plié, and up. Plié, and up. Four pliés. And I'm going to go into it élevé. Everything is just soft and gentle. 
Now we go into it and elevate the first position. And we go up. And one, rise up. Imagine that you're growing. Your feet are laying down to the ground. And your head is going up and up and up. And this is opposite. It's kind of like in a string. You are holding on very tight. And we come back down. And two. right to the side around the pelvic area and we drop the foot and now we are in second position we go back into preparation first and second now i want you to imagine that your hands are you can see that your hands are not all the way back okay they are all in a nice curve like infinity in ballet it's like the number eight that you are doing most of the time and it never ends it's a curve and you go plie And we're gonna go back, plié, and close, and plié, and close. Tighten everything, everything, and breathe out again. Plié in second position, and close. Elevate, and up, and hold, and drop the ball of your foot. second part of the warm-up, it's called a tendu. If you put your feet together, we're going to stay in a turnout, opening very well, tighten everything, and we're going to go up, open into fifth position, come back into our nice hand in our hands on your waist, and we're going to go and point. You're pointing your toes straight line, that you're pushing something, you're pushing like a stone toe, it's going to infinity, and that toe is pointed all the way. Very good, and we're going to flex going to point and you're going to apply pressure on the ball of your foot and point back and flex and point and down and point and flex. This is very good for the car, calf stretch. It's helping you a lot. Last one and flex and point and down and come back and close Push back the ball of your foot into the first position. We're going to go down to the side, which is side tendu. And point. And flex. Make it straight. Nothing is bending. And point. And press. The whole is like pressing, giving like a little bird as a movement. You can do the movement very nicely. Very good. Up. And you can breathe out. Very good. And you make yourself very tall in ballet. We are all queens and kings, and we come back and close. It was the dance for the kings and the queens, so they had to have a very, very tall posture and bold posture. And the same thing, we're going to go to the side and point and flex and point and flex and point and apply pressure. Very good. And grow with your hands all the way. That's it. Beautiful. Reach out like you're trying to touch something in the far end. And come back and breathe. Very good. We go back with our left leg and we're going to go and point it so very, very straight also. And flex and point and drop. That's it. On the ball of your foot. Apply the pressure and point your toes. Very important. Everything is tight. Nothing is moving. And close. And down. We're going to go into a grand plié where we go down all the way, like we're about to pick up flowers into the garden. All the way straight. Go back is straight, everything is coming straight. And we are picking up the flowers one, picking up the flowers two, and we're going and rising up very high. Ballet is about telling stories and expressing our body movement with the stories. So that's what I want you to see. You stay straight, straight, very straight. And back. Very good. 
I am sure you are enjoying this. You can feel your body strength growing. And I want you to make sure that everything, every time you arrange your feet. Now we're going to do something a bit faster. It's called a pique. A pique where you're pointing your toes straight in front and straight to the side, and of course to the back. Are we ready? Again, préparation, first and second. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. And we change. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and back. Make sure everything is stable, nothing is moving. Seven, eight, and side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and front. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and close. And one, two, three, four, and close. And one, two, three, four, and close. Be to the side. One, two, three, four, and close. And one, two, three, four, and close. Good job. into something very special, the adventurous stretching ballet. Everything is coming very smoothly. You are having your arm moving to the right and to the left. And we're going to go into what we call a rond de jambe. The rond de jambe is very slow. We are drawing a semicircle all the way from first to second, and first to second, all the way down. Let's go. And point. And turn all the way down. That's it. And hold. You are growing yourself very slowly. I want to see a ton on here. Ton on here, you are dropping your body weight all the way to the back and pointing your toes. Very good, very softly and slowly. I don't want you to move from this. And you come and turn. Very slowly. Open your hands very high into a fifth position. Drop your shoulders. Very good. And drop again in the ton Beautiful. Now what we can do is something usually beautiful into a rond de jambe. We drop and bend our knees and bring our upper chest all the way to the down and we just do a movement. Beautiful movement. We stretch that upper calf. That's it. All the way up. And you imagine that you are floating in the air in a big garden and you're coming back and you're smiling at life. Very good. And we come back. The same thing we do with the other leg. We take the left leg and we go into a rond de jambe where we turn it very slowly. Excellent. And we plie all the way. That's it. And we come back into a rond de jambe on the door. That's it. And we take our back leg and we exercise with a plie. We drop our upper chest all the way down into a first, and we can feel the stretch of our thighs, feel the stretch of our neck, and we come back again, and we do the movement, imagining that we are in a beautiful, peaceful, restful place. And we close. Slowly, our body is going to roll down all the way, all the way up, opening our wings like an angel coming down, very good. Stretching back. Excellent. Into a fifth position. Very good. And back down. And suddenly we're going to drop. Drop like a pin all the way down and come into a stretching position on the floor. Are we ready? Let's go. You ready, you guys? Yes, I am. One all the way. Very good. Into a grand plié. I want you to take your hands back. Apply. That's it, a balance, point your toes. Very good, take the other hands and stretch. Make your leg very strong, everything is strong. Nothing is left soft, but you are already relaxed in your chest position. That's something very important, as you can see, our back is really straight. And that's how we form our back, and we can walk straight, like ladies or gentlemen, okay? And kings and queens. I want you to hold your hands very high, grow, and come all the way down. 
all the way look at me, don't leave your eyesight, all the way your stomach is going down, all the way, and you are pressing. Now you are flexing your feet. Flex your feet, open in first position, and point your toes. Again, straight back, hold for four. One, two, three, four. All the way, drop, 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 drop. All the way, that's it. Remember UK about two years ago when I was 22 kilos overweight before because of my baby? <laughs> but it helped me a lot. So side to the right. Very good. Side to the left. Very good. Excellent. And point to a butterfly. And hold very well. Everything is holding. Your back is straight. Your droppers, your shoulders are down. And you're looking to the right. And you're looking to the left. Very good. And I want you to apply pressure, holding your ankle down. And two. And three. And four. You press it down very slowly. As adults, we are doing this so that we can also use and work on our turnout. I want you now to imagine that you can put your nose as much as possible on your toes. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, four. And point up. Push and flex and push and back and push and flex and push and back and push and flex and push and back. Good job. And up, go up, very good. And come back down, last one. We go down, very good. Beautiful. Now we're going to stretch your upper calf by turning to the right, turning in front. That's it. And roll. And two. And three. And four. And five. To the right. Extend that arm. That's it. And eight. And one. And stretch it out. Three. Four. We change and we pivot to the other leg and point up and side to the back and back. Very good. Push it down. Excellent. Take a deep breath. Mm. Thank you. Stand up. This was for the, the bar, without a bar, of course, the warm up. And then I just did some stretches for you. You can see all your muscle relax. Okay, and you shake it out. Thank you. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that moment. Oh yes, I'm sure you did. Hey, there's more to come. We'll go on a quick break, grab some water and a face towel if you're sweating already, and we'll be right back. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that wonderful session with Mrs. Bullas. We call her Mrs. B, so <laughs> I'm going to use the word Mrs. B, don't get confused. I'm still referring to her. See why I love ballet? See why I look the way I look? The secret is ballet. And I want to thank Mrs. B for training us, you know, because it's not easy, trust me. Thank you, Mrs. B, for joining us today you're and for welcome. that wonderful time. Okay, dance tip. I know you're itching to ask questions. So I want to ask, most parents walk up to me and they say, hey UK, I want to work on my kid's posture. I don't like the way she works. She works like this or she's like this. You know, so please can you share with everyone, every mother out there, or maybe people who are really interested in knowing the secret. So how can we correct that? First, an exercise that mothers and, and children can do together is called the banana orange uh, symbol, where when you are in the orange, okay, you're round, okay, and when you are in a banana, you're stretched out. So first, by doing this exercise at home, you are able then to bring the, the, the column vertebrae into a more straightforward position. And in ballet, if they're taking their classes, all the time I work on their posture because if you have a banana looking shape, it's also not nice. Okay. What happens is that you really have to talk in your pelvic area at all time, having your shoulders down, not lifted up, and okay. walk straight. Now, how do you do this? It's because you walk. It's a walking position. Okay. It's how you go into a relevé, into a down. That's how you do it. Okay. Okay. Well, okay, one more question. 
Now, people wonder how do ballerinas jump without hurting themselves? Mm -hmm. So I would like you to share also with our viewers what, what, what exercise is really necessary to help you know, yes. the dancer jump without sounding like an elephant. <laughs> yes. Something very important is what we call the calf and uh, uh, ankle strengthening, where you do this exercise of flexing and pointing your toes, applying pressure like I explained. And at the same time, of course, it's always landing on a plie. If okay. you land on a straight knee, you will hurt your knees. And most of the dancers today that are not trained, they're landing on straight knees and it's very dangerous. So that's, that's something I would advise, is doing all these flex and point at all time until you stretch that ball of the foot and you stretch your ankle and actually you keep it fit. Wow, so much to take in. I hope you don't forget everything she has said and you can practice it even if she's not watching <laughs> you can practice it to develop your muscles or strengthen your ankles ah thank you mrs b yeah. i hope you had a wonderful time on dance and learn show till next time keep it locked don't change the the, the channel is still here thank you mrs b <laughs>